Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online, particularly welcome back to Wistmead here in the Fall Festival of 2018. In the last couple of episodes, I did the episodic quest for the Harvest Festival with Bingo Boffin. We explored this area a little bit, but I think it's time to do some of the quests that this new area has to offer. I'm pretty excited about it. This seems like a very fun area, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do all the quests that there are in here for this episode. And let me just go around and collect some quest rings, and then we'll go from there. Hello there. It would seem word has begun to spread about Wismead. The Harvest Festival has long been my favorite of all festivals in the Shire, and after seeing that prank that old Mr. Baggins played on Lobelia, I was inspired to craft something of my own, and here it is. Clearly proud of his work, Wallerick gestures wildly in every direction. To my delight, I'm intrude Haybank, Helen R. Bunce and Iris Tunley have devised a number of new games and activities for the Harvest Festival. If you find them wandering the field, be sure to introduce yourself. Alright, so we got several characters to interact with here. I don't know, who do I want to start with? Let me talk with this lady. Good day, might I have a word with you? My friends and I do so love a good and frightening costume on the Fall Festival. You see, and we were sitting about trying to imagine how to get some of the others to join us in the fun. Then it came to me, the cleverest idea. We must put treats out on the doormats of our houses. Then, and this is the important part, only those in costumes may be allowed to have some. Yes, said my friends, but how will we persuade anyone to go about all the bother? But don't you see? It's plain as day, I said. We must help them along. And so we set to work, the three of us, and baked more treats than you could count, and fashioned some doormats just perfect for the occasion. You may have one if you like, but you must promise to lay it out and then go in for some treats and trickery yourself. That's what I'm calling it. Isn't it just a perfect name? Hello there. You will do it? Oh, how grand. If you haven't any costume, I have some old thing that you can put on as well. Here. Go and tell your friends. What fun. Okay. So I got a title. Chip and proud feet the welcoming. Oh my god, my inventory is a mess, but I did get some stuff here. Hello there. Are you ready, I Kippen? Speak with you a moment. I hope big and little folks have laid out all the doormats that I gave them because I plan to put on my best costume and visit every one of them. Will you do the same? Why don't you go and put on a costume, gather some treats, and then come back and tell me all about it? Okay. So, let me see. Let me open the doormat in a box. What is this? Basic costume grab bags. Lobelia grabbing her friends took some old things out of the bin and stuffed it into this bag to be handed out. You probably won't know what of until you put it on. And what is this? Treats doormats. Hmm, okay. So let me open this. Oh, I'm putting on a costume. Interesting. Ah, look at that. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Kind of cool, though. My hobbit is wearing shoes. Let me, uh... Let me just get a few angles here for a possible screenshot for the icon for this episode just pausing myself at some different angles here probably not the best but anyways you guys are probably tired of that all right so what can i do with the doormat if i'm wearing a costume i don't know a note attached on the edge reads for costume wearers only okay so let me talk with this fine gentleman hello there Hello, is this your first time in Wismead? Welcome, welcome. I'm Helen R. Bunce, and I manage a few of the festivities here in Wismead. I have a skilled hand in carving guards, and I dabble in crafting interesting ales. Of course, I'm not quite so skilled as to join the ranks of the Inn League, but I hope the Harvest Festival affords me the chance to prove myself. Alas, my Fognoggin ale seems to be more interesting than well regarded, but I've labor labored to improve its recipe. You are welcome to try it while you explore the spooky sights and sounds of Wismead. I've heard tell that the old wistful oak 
has a mind of its own. But that's just an old tree, right? Perhaps you should go and see for yourself. But enough about me, there's plenty of fun to be had here in Wistmead. I'll let you get to it. So let me talk with some of the other characters. Could I take a moment of your time? I say there's so much fun to be had around here, isn't there? I could go on about the first day until the very last day and not get my fill of the haunted burrows, hedge mazes, and trick treats and trickery. You feel the same, do you not, Kippen? Well, do not be shy, she's the season. Persistent effort reaps rich rewards, as I like to say. So this is that meta quest where you gotta do a bunch of quests many days in a row. Which I won't be able to complete, unfortunately, because I started late. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Welcome, my friend. If you're here for the harvest, I'd recommend you get in the spirit of the season and participate in many of the harvest activities. If you're not here for the harvest festival, maybe you should be. For those folks that participate in many of our activities, there might just be a harvest street in store, so get out there. The night can get a bit chilly, but I'm sure you'll find good company and stories around the campfire. There are many rewards that await those who participate in the Harvest Festival, and for those that harvest for many days, the rewards are all the grander. Okay, now what? Let me go talk to this lady. A lovely day, isn't it? Dear me, have you been standing there for long? I am Iris Tunley, and I bid you welcome to Wistmead. I am quite new here myself, but I've done well to help Mr. Goldworthy and the others prepare the field for the Harvest Festival. How did I come to be here, you ask? Oh, you didn't ask. Well, it was the strangest thing. I was just leaving Staddle when a cloaked woman of Bree approached me. I did not know her face, and she gave me no name, but she begged me to bring to her any lost cats that wandered into the festival grounds. How could she know such a thing? But... Not after an hour I arrived in Wismead, I found these cats wandering around the wheat maze. Aren't they adorable? Well, don't let them fool you, they are a handful. Between you and me, I think Mr. Goldworthy could stand to fill that old smelly bog. But I have never been so excited for the Harvest Festival. Perhaps you can help us make Wismead even better. She's got some cats with her. Okay. It is impressive, isn't it? Most mazes are not spooky, but the maze of Wismead certainly is. Rumor has it that the wheat shifts in the night, reshaped by an unseen scythe. Careless hobbits might become lost in the winding pathway pathways, and once that happens, they are seldom seen again. I'm intrude pauses for far too long. Until I go in and find them, of course. If you want to give the maze a try, I'll be here. Very good. I hope you enjoy Wistmead as much as you enjoyed as we enjoyed building it. Kippen, on behalf of all of us, welcome. It's horrible, just horrible. I have been beset by complaints, and just moments ago I saw another hobbit sleeping in the field. Have I done something wrong? It seems that no matter what fest festivities I think up, I cannot impress them. Why don't you try to help them get back in the spirit, Kippen? Show them what spooky fun it can be to be it can that can be had in Wistmead. Alright, so I think I have to run around and scare some hobbits. Let me talk to this guy again. An eerie fog. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Oh, wait, Kippen, do you have a moment? I've received a lot of feedback on my last few blends of Fognog and Ale, and I've finally gotten it right. If you'd be so kind to try a sample of my new and hopefully improved Fognoggin, once you've had sufficient time to reckon with its complex flavor, tell me what you think of it. I hope I've gotten the balance right. I'll take a moment of your time. Oh, the goblins have returned to Wismead. I thought we had driven them, the last of them, back to Mount Graham, but it's, but it seems the draw of the Harvest Festival has proven too great. Will you take this club and send them flying out of the Shire? So I have to send goblin gourds flying in Wismead. Pretty sweet. Let me take a swig of this thing. All right. Perhaps too late you understand the meaning of the name Alanard Bunce has given this ale. Okay, so I'm fairly drunk. What is this right here? Steaming Sten. Stein, sorry. Let me drink that. Because of course if you're drunk, you just drink more, right? That's what you need to do. You're not entirely certain if that was coffee, but you feel a bit better. Let me talk to the spiritless hobbits. Misery me, you gave me quite a shock. What? Have so many careless boots rots. 
sudden terror grips you and you feel more alert. What sort of vile illusion is this? Sudden terror grips you and you feel more alert. So there's a bat right there. I don't know what this was. What is that? They're like a... I don't know what that is. I can't tell. I'm too drunk. Oh, hard to click on these things. Oh, fiddlesticks, you got me. What horror. Even the hairs on my feet are standing on end. I just go towards some of the quest rings and see what happens. Oh my. Could it be? The ghost of the ghost of the old Took? Oh yeah! A little square if you remember way back from the season in the Shire. There was one of the hobbits who thought he saw the ghost of old Took in the library at the Great Smiles in Tugboro, but really it was just a squirrel. And here's a little squirrel ghost, so that's what that is referencing. The ghost of the ghost of the old Took. It's kinda clever. Scared the sleeping hobbit. Ha! Huh, perhaps Swiss me gets spookier than I thought. If I go too far that way, I'll actually head back to the Shire. I don't want to do that just yet, obviously. I want to finish up all this stuff here. How dreadful! What a delight! Oh, now I'm passing out. I'm passing out intermittently. That's not good. Alright, let me talk with this guy. Well, well. I can hear the hoots and cheers from here. Perhaps I'm a little too hasty in my thinking. Thank you, Kippen. That will be all. Okay. Talk with her. Stay and have some tea. Waste of webs. Hello, Kippen. Might you help me with a delicate matter? Mr. Goldworthy took great care to wrap many of the bushes in Westmead with fine cotton webbing, but I think he has missed an important detail. There are no spiders in Westmead. Or if there were, they are long gone by now. Why don't you go down to Scary to find some spiderlings and put them in this jar? If you bring them back here, we can make sure that no one else notices this little mistake. I speak with you a moment? Misery me, Kippen. I've heard those quiet little mews around Wismead again. I have enough to manage already looking already looking after all this. Iris gestures at the cats at her feet and more subtly towards Wallerick. In time, I will be glad to see them off to Bree, but for now, it seems that the festival goers have grown fond of them. Would you go and find a few more of those black cats for me? All right. Let's see if I can go in here. I can't go there. Okay. So I'm still trying to shake off the effects. What sort of vile illusion is this? A sudden terror grips you, but you feel more alert. What did I see? Oh, a spider illusion. Got it. So there's no quest rings on these. I just have to kind of find them. I need to find one more illusion somewhere. Already been here. Let me go back there. Let me explore around. There's a foul air in this place. The cold, murky water of the bog seems to help. Okay. Looks like I'm sobering up. That's good. Looks like there's a cat here. Let me pick him up. Alright, it's just kind of fun that I get to do this in a Halloween costume. That kind of makes the episode a little bit more exciting, I imagine. It does for me at least, hopefully for you guys as well. Looks like there's a cat here. Alright. Let's go see if I can find a few more. I guess I could always get on my pony, right? 
don't know why I didn't think about that. Let me turn in this ale quest. Good day. Not my best, eh? I've heard so much about her now that I'm a bit hesitant to try it myself. Ah oh, well, I'll brew up a new batch. I hope you'll be willing to give another try soon, Kippen. Okay. Good. And as always, you know that all these quests are going to be repeatable. On a daily basis, usually. Need to find a couple more cats. And then... I don't know what I do with this. Goblin girds can be found throughout Wishmead. I don't know if I've seen a single one yet. Let me get on my foot. I guess I can use my delete key to see if there's anything I can interact with. Let me get on my pony though. Make life a little bit easier. Oh boy, that's my work pager going off. I don't know if you heard that. Give me just a second. Alright, sorry about that. Some problems in the hospital, but it's all taken care of. Okay. What was I doing? What was I doing? I was looking for cats. I was looking for cats and I was looking for gourds. Let me see. Let me see what I can find around here. Nothing but a pony to the party tree. That's all I can find. Just gonna ride around and look for stuff. I don't see anything. Apparently there are six of these around here. I figure I would have seen at least one by now, right? Looks like there will be a kitty cat here. Another cat here. I don't know why this area is so laggy. I don't know if you guys noticed the drop in frame rate right around this little lake. I don't know where these gourds are. They might be in the maze. Because I haven't gone in the maze yet. Why don't I do that? Why don't I go in there and see? How do you do? Good gracious, as much as I enjoy having them around for the Harvest Festival, it will be great relief when this is all over. Once I get back to Staddle, that woman from Bree can have the lot of them. Oh, but perhaps I'll ask to keep one for myself. Alright, let me see what's going on in here. Challenging Wheat. Hello there, Ermatrude Haybank is the name. This old wheat field is quite overgrown and gives me the shivers. It is a maze of old wheat thickets with a ghastly fog hanging overhead. How quick do you think you can run through the maze of wheat? Do you think you could do it without cheating? I hope you're not afraid. So I guess by cheating they mean looking at a map on Google? I'll take her up on the offer. I'm not going to look up a map for this. Worst that can happen is I make a fool of myself, but I can always edit it out if I get lost in there for three years. There are many truly wondrous gourds growing in the wheat field. Gather some so that we may decorate. Okay, so maybe they're, they are in there for the gourds and goblins quest as well. Oh, there are pesky crows all throughout the wheat field. Shoot them away if you are in there. With all their squawking, it sounds like they are laughing at us. So preventing a murder. For those of you who don't know, a group of crows is called a murder. Kind of like a school of fish. Or a herd of elk, or something like that. Alright, let's go in here. Tangle corn, sweet. There's a ripe gourd just over here. So can I... Where's that other quest? I'm probably not going to finish this within a minute. I'll just have to retry that quest. Let me... Let me get rid of this for right now. Let me put this. Okay. Let me see if I can use this invalid target. Huh. No 
Okay. That's weird. I really don't know where to find that stuff then. Well, for right now, let me focus on this maze. Alright, got a crow here. Showing them away. Time's up, obviously. Obviously, I failed that. I'll get around to doing it properly, though. So ripe gourd right there. Dang it. Dead end. Alright, got a few things here. Grow. I'm finding them pretty easily, I think. I have no system. I'm just running around randomly. There's no strategy to this whatsoever. That I can assure you. I'm gonna be in trouble when I'm actually looking for the exit. See, I've already kind of memorized the haunted burrow. Since I've been doing it for several years now. But this is all new. So I don't know all the twists and turns. Oh man, I still need six crows. That's actually a lot. If I was a little taller, maybe I could see over the edge here and figure my way, but that's obviously not happening. Dang it, how do I get over there? So here's the exit. And I'm not ready to leave just yet. Do need to go find some more stuff. Five crows, three gourds. There. Which way do I want to go? Let me try this way. That was probably wrong. Let me come around. I'm getting away from it. That's alright, because I got some stuff here. Ton of crows. So I got all the gourds. There's a pesky crow right there. There's two of them actually. Not bad. A little bit of lag. Another pesky crow. And another. They're all bunched up here in this corner, it looks like. Perfect. I've got all of them. Now, I need to make my way out of here. I don't think it's going to be too hard. Why I'm so laggy. It's kind of crazy. I think I can go out the entrance as well. I don't have to actually go out the back. In fact, going out the entrance would probably be better. Because then I can just turn in the quests. 
Perfect. How wonderful. Look at these decorative gourds. Thank you. I hope those pesky crows do not come back. Alright, now let me try the challenge again. Got one minute to do it. Let's see. Oh no. Not good. Let's see what I'm doing. I am going in a circle. This is not gonna happen, guys. This is bad. This one's taking me nowhere. Still got 20 seconds. It's still possible. It's still possible. Oh, 10 seconds. Now it's not possible, I don't think. I'm a little too far. Yeah, not happening. Dang it. Kind of tricky. Come out this way. And that way. Yeah. I think this is where I got stuck. I thought there was a path from the right upper corner to the exit. That's why I try to make my way that way. Maybe I'm just going crazy or maybe they change the path every time you come in here. I guess I should just go out the main entrance, right? That way I can just pick up the quest again. Alright, let's try it out. I'm gonna go this way this time. See what happens. Ah, oh, dead end already. Not good. What a terrible start. I right, still got about 30 seconds. Not too bad. Getting close. I'm getting close. Ah, there's the exit. It's so close, but so far away. 14 seconds. Dang it. I'm lost with my friend here. This one's not going to be a winner either. Alright, third time's a charm, right? Let's do it. I think I know what I want to do this time. I'll go through here. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling very confident. There we go. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Let me get on my pony. I 
I can turn this in. My only question is the these goblin gourds, where are they? I haven't seen a single one. Kinda crazy. My word, you ran through the wheat field quickly. This old overgrown field still seems to be challenging. Perhaps the maze will be different by tomorrow. Now, how about another challenge for today? What's the other challenge? Cheat on the wheat. Now that you know the maze well enough and beat my challenge, how about a bit of fun? How fast do you think you can make it through the wheat maze? I will allow you to cheat this time. If you beat this, you'll be well on your way to becoming a maze master. What do they mean by cheat? Deed bestowed. Oh, what is this? Challenging wheat maze for- Oh, so there are different versions of the maze. Interesting. Okay. So I'll have to come back for that deed. I guess maybe every day it's different? I don't know. Or every hour? Go. I got 30 seconds. Oh, I went the wrong way. Dang it. I already lost because I barely did it in 30 seconds last time. Yeah, it's not going to happen this time. Five seconds. Not happening. Dang it. So close. That's all right. We'll redo it. I know where I need to go. Here we go. Dang it, I already messed up again. Hopefully not too bad. Hopefully I still have time to do everything I need to do to get out of this maze. Seven seconds. Five, four, Two, one. Oh, come on! Really, time's up. That is that is fast, guys. Dang. Okay, third time's a charm again, maybe. Let's go, I gotta do this perfect. It has to be perfect or it's not happening. This should work. Still got plenty of time left. Found the exit. Excellent. Alright, let me go turn this in. I don't know what they meant by cheat, though. That's kind of weird. I wonder if there are, like, hidden passages within the maze, maybe? I'll have to figure that out at some point. 
All right, let me turn this in. How do you do? My, you do love harvest. I hope you're having a fun time at the harvest festival. For your efforts, you should have a reward, and here you are. Come back tomorrow, and I shall have more harvest rewards for you. Good day. You harvested for four whole days. You might be even more excited than harvest than I am. Here, have a little reward set. I have a little reward set aside just for you. I don't understand this. This is literally my first day doing this. Why is it telling me I've already done it for four? That's kind of weird. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, whatever. My word, you could not have made it through the maze more quickly. This old overgrown field seems to still be changing. Perhaps the maze will be different by tomorrow. So I guess it does change every day. Okay, let me pull up the quest log. So, collect treats while in costume. And then, waste of webs. So I need to go to Scary to collect some spiderlings. But this one's really the one that's confusing me. Because it says there are goblin gourds all over... Wistmead, and I've yet to see a single one. Maybe I'll try to swat her with the club. Nope, can't do it. I tried. Collect treats while in costume. From housing neighborhood doormats. Hmm. What does that even mean? I have no idea. I have a doormat in my inventory. Let me see. Where was it? That's not it. Right there. Doesn't do anything when I click on it. Okay. Cannot use... You must have completed the quest. They promise to treats and trickery. I don't get it. I don't understand. This is confusing to me. And I'm also not understanding the Gord's quest. I might have to look these up real quick. Because I'm, I'm at a loss here. I'll be honest. Oh, there we go. There's one. But you can't select it. You literally have to go find them. Okay, so let me smack this thing. Sweet. That was actually pretty awesome. I'll take it. They make it hard on you, though, because you can't use your tab key or your U key or the delete key. You just have to know the locations, I guess. I wonder if it's the same for the doormats. There's another one. See one here. They seem to be mostly by like the little bushes and stuff. So I think that's where I'll focus my efforts for now. Don't see any around here. Run at the graveyard. There's one. All right. Let's see if we can find a few more. I guess other people are going at it too, so kind of have to be careful and do this quickly before other people get to it. Need one last one. There's one. Perfect. Now the only one that I'm confused about is this one. 
You should wear a costume and collect treats from housing neighborhood doormats. Hmm. Oh, is this like a housing quest? Do I need to go to my house? Interesting. I will try that. I don't know why that's pointing me like in the middle of nowhere instead of the closer one. Let me turn this quest in real quick. Oh, good day. Ah, old Golfin Bull must have felt quite the shock when Bender Burst the Bull Roar swung his club, don't you think? I'll have more gourds carved soon enough. I must say I much prefer these to actual goblins. So this is actually going to be trick or treating in my neighborhood. Sweet. Okay. So before I travel to my personal house, I'm going to head on over to Scary and try to collect some spiderlings. As you may remember, the quarry in Scary has a problem with a spider infestation. So we'll see about that. Where's Scary? All the way over there. All right, let me ride. I'll probably fast forward this right over there. Alright, so I made it to scary. Yeah, let's see. Let me pick up some spiderlings. That's sweet. I don't have to get off my horse. I need 12 of them. That's quite a lot. I'm still getting the little haunted sound effects, like the little hobbit kids laughing. I wonder if it's because I'm wearing the costume. I wonder if that's what triggers the sound effects. It must be, right? Why else would that be playing here? Sweet. So now let me go to my personal house. Now this could be a problem. Oh, where's my house? Do I not have a house? Maybe I didn't pay my upkeep. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't pay my upkeep. Dang it. I didn't pay my upkeep. That sucks. I guess I gotta go to maintenance. I gotta unlock the house. Let me just make as many deposits as I can. Okay. Excellent. And let me travel over there. see something let me do this and then I guess I can place this right there you go that way other people can come get treats at my house can I get for my own I can 
Awesome. What is the apple goblin thing? Oh, I can only do it once every three minutes. Oh no. At least they let you do it on your own house. That way you don't have to go trick or treating around. In case people aren't setting out their doormats. See, like, my neighborhood's not very up and coming right now. I got a lot of empty lots. I got the best lot, though, of course, with all the trees, but anyways. I guess I'll see. I'll just ride around and see if there are a few more houses that might have something. But it looks like I'll probably have to do some editing on this episode. Waiting three minutes in between each. Nothing there. I like the chicken coop. That's kind of cool. Nothing there. Yeah, I'll probably just have to trick or treat at my own house. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Could you imagine? Nothing here. Yeah, it doesn't look like many people are participating. I think I'll just do my own house. He's got a pretty good lot too. Dang, he's got the tree and he's got a windmill right there. His lot might be better than mine. I'm kind of jealous. And now I kind of lost where I was going. I forgot where I live. I think it's over on the other side. I'm closer to the waterfall though, so it's not all bad. And I got that little gazebo just down the street. Alright, my plot's not too bad. So I gotta wait. So I'll do some editing here so I can pick this six times. And when I'm done, we'll head back to Wistmead. So, I'll see you in a bit. I'm not gonna edit in me picking it all six times. I'll just edit when I'm done picking six times. Okay. Okay, so I just ate one of these little apples that you can pick and it opened up a deed. But I did it off screen. But anyways. Try an apple goblin. There are different ones that you can get, I guess. So... There's that. But we have a problem, guys, because I tried to get another one, and I did, but it didn't count towards the the quest. So I wonder if I can only get one from each thing. One from each doormat. Because that could be a problem. That could be a problem. You know what I'll do? Let me travel to my kinship house. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more doormats in that neighborhood because I'm sure some of my active kinsmen have houses around that area. So they may have set out some doormats. Let's see what we can find. Alright. Yeah, so welcome to Gondor. We're not quite there yet, but... Just for the sake of this... Let's see what we got. Please have a doormat. Really? Oh yeah, there we go. Mint turtles. Sweet. I got a little mint turtle. That's gonna count towards the deed. Sweet. And now let me... Examine some of the... Other houses that are going to be around here. Where am I? Oh, wow. I'm all the way over here. I'm going to have to swim all the way over there? Really? I guess I'll have to. That's kind of cool, though, because you get your own island for a kinship house. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, guys. Word on the street is that this hood is stacked with candy. So this is just like real life trick or treating. You gotta go to the best neighborhoods if you wanna get stacked with candy. And apparently, 
this place is loaded, so let's go in there. All the rich elves live here. They put out all the candy. Let's see. I guess I'll just make my way around. Let me see what the... Okay. I'll just go this way. And turn around and... Nope, these are all for sale. Was I lied to? I might have been lied to. I guess I'll just go around and see. I don't know. Some doormats here. Perfect. There you go. Mad Baggins Gold. Sweet. Let me eat one of those. Awesome. So that's three out of six. See what else we got. Maybe over here. No, that's just a regular doormat. Nothing on these as well. Dang it. Take a look at that one. Nothing. Nothing on that one. Guess I'll just right over that way I want to make sure I'm going through all the houses here not missing any sweet jam tarts excellent let me grab and eat some of those And there's some here. I already got the apples. I wonder if it counts. Why am I interrupted? So that didn't count. So I guess it has to be each unique one. Which is going to make things hard. So I need to find at least two out of these four that I haven't tried yet. That's going to be tricky. One down there. Marshmallows. I don't think I've had the marshmallows. I guess this neighborhood is pretty stacked. I'm getting a lot of stuff. Sweet. Nothing there. Nothing there. That house is empty. This house has got something for me. What is this? Honey bears. I think that will... Yeah, that completes the quest. But that does not complete the deed. I need some licorice and ant bark to complete the deed. So let me just kind of ride around a little bit more before I go turn in these quests. And see if I can... Complete the deed on screen. That would be ideal. Here we go, gentlemen. Some licorice twists. Excellent. Let me eat that. So now I'm only missing ant bark. Hopefully I can find one of these. And complete the deed. Hopefully soon, because the game is about to start. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. And by game, I mean soccer game. I'm a bit of a soccer fan. And there's a game starting in two minutes. Sweet. I completed the deed. Oh, and I got another one. Okay. There you go. Just a taste. Title awarded. Sweet of Tooth. What's the new deed? Consume many treats. Alright, so I guess I have to consume 20 of these. So, you know what I'll do? I will... Go around here and collect 20. And then I'll eat them all. Actually, I already have three apples. I can already start by eating three. There you go. But I'll edit this in. I'm gonna take a quick break so I can watch the game. And I'll be right back. And then we'll turn in all the quests and everything. 
Alright, so I ran around collecting some items. My costume came off because I logged off. This is actually the next day for me, but you don't notice because of the video editing. So let me go ahead and consume all of these. That way I can unlock the deed. I'll just go down the line here. And you have to be wearing the costume to grab these. Oh man, there's my work again. Hold on. Keep getting paged while I'm trying to record all this. Alright, sorry about that. Let me keep eating here. More problems, this time from the emergency room, but that's alright. It's all taken care of. Alright. Should be unlocking the deed with any one of these now. Hopefully. I don't have a costume to get one more. There we go, just right. Oh, uh, there's a new deed bestowed. I knew there was going to be a second tier to this. So what did I get? The well-treated. Deed complete, excellent. Let's see what the other one is going to be. Treats or trickery clearing the table. Oh, now I need 20 of each. Oh my god. I'm not going to show that on screen. I'll probably have to do that next year. I don't even have a costume. And the festival is running out. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do it. What I'll do for now is just go back and... Finish up some of the quests that we were working on earlier. The Waste of Webs and the Treats... Tre treats and Trickery, sorry. Okay. So, how do I get back there? I guess I'll go to the Shire, right? Let's do that. I don't have a map to the festival ground. Wait a minute. Wait a minute before I do that. I forgot what neighborhood I was in. Because I'll probably want to come back here. Oh well. I'll have to figure that out later. Yeah, because if I'm going to work on that deed. I probably want to come to this neighborhood. Because they have a lot of stuff. They have one of each at the houses. Lovely day, isn't it? They used to have a pony here that would take you directly to the festival grounds, but I don't know what happened to it. I guess we'll just go to Hobbiton. Actually, I'll just edit myself over in Wishmead. That'll be easier. Alright, I am back in Wishmead. Let me see if I can turn in some of these quests. Like I mentioned, this is the next day for me, so all the quests reset. How do you do? Ah, perfect. Now, uh, why don't you just take that jar of spiders and shake some of them onto the web bushes around Wistmead. Preferably the bushes furthest away from me. If we're lucky, no one will even notice that the spiders were missing. Could I take a moment of your That's time? That's the black cat quest that I already did. Let me go turn in the other one real quick. Good day. You did it, Kippen. Oh, how grand that my plan has come off. Tell me about it. Which treats did you get? Did you try any of them? I must hear everything. Everything. Alright. And what is this? Deed complete. Treats and trickery. First harvest. I'm sure there's going to be tears to this. Maybe not. Okay. Anyways, let me go put some spiderlings in the bushes. Turn this in once and for all. Good day. Oh, Kippen, did you have any trouble finding... ...getting them into the webs? No, wonderful. For my sake, I think those will do for now. 
If they wander off again, I'll make sure we find a way to replace them. Alright. So I believe those are all the quests here in Wistmead. And let me just see something. Yeah, so this one I'll have to wait 16 hours in order to be able to get another costume. That way I can do that deed. But I don't think I'll be able to complete that deed this year. But that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I'll probably do a few runs of the Haunted Burrow and maybe do a few of the other Fall Festival quests. And I'll show you all the rewards for this year. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new area. I had a lot of fun with it. I'll see you next time.